and we are just about ready to go. High school basketball on MPS TV. Jason Harper alongside Tom Bell and a great crew of staff and volunteers. And uh, Tom, these two teams, the Midland High Chemics, the Dow High Chargers, it's early in the season. But this team, we've got a lot of young athletes, a lot of freshmen, all combined three freshmen starting tonight. Yeah, there's a lot of youth, but, uh, you know, the edge tonight probably goes to the Chemics, even though Dow comes in undefeated. The Kemmicks have three seniors that start to play considerable uh, minutes as, uh, as juniors. And Midland High, their, their losses have been to teams that basically are undefeated. Now, both of these teams, you know, going through early uh, early season woes. The Midland High Kemmicks dropped their first three games. The Dow High Chargers are undefeated, but the Dow High Chargers uh, are looking, you know, for the competition, the tough part of the Saginaw Valley. Midland High has already had those tough games, and the Midland High Kemmicks winning the tip off, and we are off and running, and quickly Midland High going to the hoop. Hannah Smith, one of the seniors for the Midland High Kemmicks, wasting no time. Smith putting the first basket in, and the Kemmicks with an early 2-0 lead. Tom quickly your keys to the game tonight okay uh middle high has to stay out of foul trouble for one uh their their bench is quite young uh coach Klobis is uh trying to find uh that uh, uh dependable reserve coming off the bench and he'll try a lot of people but uh yeah stay out of foul trouble and for for dow Get, get the freshman comfortable, but get the ball to Molly Davis. A great block underneath by Hannah Smith. Starts off with a basket and a block. Midland High working around the perimeter. The starting five for Midland, Jordan Phillips, Jenny Grinnis, Hannah Smith, Anna Tuck, and Maid Maddie Berry are the starting five for Midland. Working inside was Anna Tuck. She's the freshman for Midland High. Now Maddie Berry working the baseline. Berry can't get the shot to go. Loose ball on the ground. Midland High will recover and putting it in. Anna Tuck the freshman getting the bucket as Midland High builds a 4 to nothing lead early on against Dow High. The starting five for the Dow High Chargers, Molly Davis, who's averaging 20 points a game for the Chargers. Jada Garner, Caitlin Murray, Quinn McCaffrey, and Cherise Query are the starting five for the Dow High Chargers, playing without two of their uh, big key players as Davis tried to drive in. Loose ball's going to be rebounded by Midland. Maisie Taylor, she's a junior. She is out with knee surgery as Maddie Berry lets a three-pointer fly. Maddie Berry hitting the three. And how about this start for Midland High, building a 7 to nothing lead over the Dow High Chargers. Taylor is out after having knee surgery. She is expected back, hopefully in January or early February. And also Haley Jaster, a transfer student from Bullet Creek, will be back in mid-January to play for the Dow High Chargers. Chargers unable to get any of their opening shots going. We have a jump ball. Possession arrow will stay down here for the Dow High Chargers. Well, I think you're looking at uh, Midland having uh, a size advantage. Uh, we're not, not the kind of size advantage 
we've been used to the last couple of years where we've been able to put a 6-1 or 6-2 girl in, but uh, they, they're tough underneath the basket, and Dow's got to work hard to get the high percentage shot tonight. Davis dribbling the ball right now for the uh, Dow High Chargers. She's a junior. In fact, Dow High very young. Davis reading the lane very well, and she will take it to the hoop. Davis with her first basket of the game. And that was a good left-hand layup. Uh, that was something I've not seen a lot from her in the last couple of years. First foul of the game is going to be called against the uh, Dow High Chargers. As you mentioned, neither team especially wants to get into foul trouble, although Dow High a little more comfortable going to their bench than what Midland has been in the first few games. Nice outlet pass inside, wide open. Underneath was Hannah Smith, but she could not get the bucket to go. Chargers will come down the opposite way. We're in the early portion of this game. 5.15 on the clock. Midland High with a five-point lead. Dow High's freshman, Jada Gardner. She is the daughter of assistant coach Lewis Gardner, who is the acting coach tonight for the Dow High Chargers. Kyle Tyson not here. He's undergone gallbladder surgery. Molly Davis picking up her dribble, passing over to Quinn McCaffrey. McCaffrey will go inside to Query. Query is a junior. Nice spin move and a foul will be committed underneath by the Kimmicks. Okay, Dow's trying to get the ball in, down on the block. Uh, I think they realize that they're they're just not going to win this game uh, going one-on-one -on -one, uh, from the point guard position. They've got to establish the inside game. And uh, that, that, that was a pretty good move. First free throw shot is good for Query. The junior all combined between these two teams. We've got five seniors. Yes. Yep. That means there's a whole lot of uh, young players adjusting to Saginaw Valley basketball. Yeah, and uh, you're looking at Heritage being the real uh, favorite in the league, and everybody else is just trying to get better night after night. Query was one of two from the free throw line, and a nice steal by Query underneath by the Dow High Chargers, but then she double dribbled. There you see first-year coach Jaden Klobis of the Midland High Chemics donning a uh, jacket that he pulled out of his grandfather's attic, I believe. <laughs> oh, be careful. Be careful. No, it, uh, it looks as good as the shirt I'm wearing right now, I think. But. Well, yeah, but you haven't bought any new clothes since 1972. <sighs> That's what my wife would say. I don't know where, where you're getting your information. but From, uh, from your wife. <laughs> oh, no. Gene I, feeds me all trouble. kinds of information. I'm, Dow, I'm in trouble. Yeah. Dow High looking for a three-pointer. A little bit too short. Caitlin Murray on the shot. Midland High will get the rebound. Gimmicks down court. Mady Berry picking up her dribble, finding Jenny Grinwith. Grinwith very tough. We'll talk about that momentarily. Driving in, unable to get the shot to go with Hannah Smith, but Midland able to get the rebound. Midland hit their first three shots of the game to build a quick lead, but they've gone cold since that time. Barry goes into the paint, and a foul is going to be called. That may be on Davis. No, they're going to. No, it wasn't. Okay. And they're going to get Caitlin Murray. Murray is one of two freshmen. Murray and Gardner are the two freshmen playing for the Dow High Chargers. 3.45 to go in the first quarter. Midland High with the lead. Nice job there by Gardner of knocking the ball away. Dow High will keep possession, and Chargers will try to set up their offense. You mentioned earlier, Dow High looking to go underneath. Yeah, they've really got, got to uh, get Midland to play back and uh, respect the basket. Right now, they're, they're just standing right up along the three-point line. And uh, I think that, uh, you know, Dow High has got, got to have an inside-outside game. They've got it outside right now. Jada Gardner is going to look to set things up for the Dow High Chargers. Feeds it over to Quinn McCaffrey. It looks like Dow is uh, it's it's uh, point guard by committee right now until Ma Maisie Taylor gets back. Molly Davis with the ball. She drives in, and Davis can't get the shot to go. Rebound pulled down by Hannah Smith. 
and the Kimmicks will pull it out and wait for the rest of the Midland High team to come down. Open for the three-pointer, Jordan Phillips can't get the shot to go. Loose ball, Davis will pull down the rebound for the Chargers. Looking ahead over to Query. Query gets blocked underneath. Hannah Smith, two blocks here in the first quarter for Midland High. And that was really important for Hannah to get her hand up and then uh, and extend it over rather than to try to uh, make the official think she's, she's bullying her towards the basket. When McCaffrey does not get the friendly bounce, Midland High's Patty Berry will have the rebound. Neither team has made any substitutions. Here in the first quarter, not unexpected by Midland High, maybe a little unexpected by the Chargers. Three-pointer, count it. Anna Smith, the senior, hitting the three-pointer. She's got five, and then the Chargers losing the ball on the inbound, and the Kimmicks will get the ball back. Yep, well, that's part of the youth. Uh, you know, you've got some kids that uh, uh, are playing in their first varsity game right now, uh, uh, Midland Dow varsity game. And uh, they, they, they've got to keep their nerves in check. That was something that Lewis Gardner was concerned about before we went on the air, is how the young Dow High team would respond to the atmosphere of playing in a Midland versus Dow matchup. Seven point Midland High lead, just under two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Glad you are with us on MPS TV. We've got a great uh, volunteer crew on hand bringing you all of the action first of two basketball meetings between these two teams the second one will take place in february well you know we talked about uh, neither team subbing and i think both coaches are seeing an importance of trying to get some rhythm into the game and you lose rhythm when you're you're subbing in and subbing out but nobody's in foul trouble so right now they're going with their first five uh, just to kind of get comfortable in the game Davis tried to draw the foul, didn't get the whistle or the basket. Midland High will come back the other direction. Maddie Berry, three-pointer, no good. Rebound, and it's going to be Midland High basketball. Last touch by uh, Cherise Query. Well, Midland has seemed to be a little quicker to the ball so far, but... Uh, and uh, of course, obviously, they're, they're shooting a little bit better, but uh, Dow High's got, got some speed. Jada Gardner bringing the ball down for the Dow High Chargers. Gardner will feed it over to Quinn McCaffrey. Now back to Gardner. Gardner driving into the lane. Couldn't get the basket, so she has to outlet it, but Gardner will get it right back. Garner has done the majority of the ball handling here in the first quarter for the Dow High Chargers. 35 seconds to play in the first quarter. Bounce pass inside to a query, and a foul is going to be called on the freshman Anna Tuck, who uh, I don't think she agrees with it, but nonetheless, it's the uh, first foul on Tuck, only the second foul on Midland High in the first substitution of the game will bring Alyssa Kepner in for the Chargers. She's a sophomore for Dow High. And uh, she's really good around the basket. Uh, good, good rebounder, a strong player. Three-point shot, Molly Davis, no good. Battle for the rebound, and it's still on the ground. We're going to have a travel call that is going to go against the uh, Dow High Chargers. McCaffrey had the rebound, but then she fell to the floor, and that constitutes a travel. Yeah, you'd almost want to keep it as a jump ball. You know, you get a 50-50 on that. 20 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Midland High looking for the final shot. They're going to look to drive into the basket quickly, and a block underneath by the Dow High Chargers, and then a jump ball called. Nice job by Alyssa Kepner. Comes into the game, ends up coming up with a great block shot underneath. The jump ball, the possession arrow will be in favor of Midland High with 11 seconds to go here in the first quarter. And oh, now the officials are getting together and uh, not sure what this discussion is. Uh, maybe about whether there was a foul before the, the jump ball. I really don't know. The possession arrow is correct. It would be Midland High's basketball. But I think that may be what the discussion is, is whether or not uh, the arrow is correct. It is. 
We had one jump ball earlier. Midland High won the uh, won the tip off, and then we had one jump ball. So the arrow would be correct, but I don't know that the officials believe that to be the case. But I, that appears to be what the discussion is. Yeah, we have two officials talking to each other and the other one talking at the scores bench. It, uh, I would hope that the, all three of them are on the same page. Well, there's not a doubt in my mind the scores table is correct. It is definitely Midland ball. I think the one official had it wrong. She had it in her mind that uh, the possession arrow was, uh, was incorrect. It was not. So Midland High gets the ball with 10 seconds to go. The Midland High gimmicks. Looking for a shot. There's a long two-pointer. The shot is no good. Grenwith was open. Now stepping on the buzzer or stepping on the line was Dow. So Midland High will have uh, just under two seconds as Jaden Klobis lets the Midland High girls know what he wants for the final shot of the first quarter. 1.8 on the clock. Good outlet pass. The shot taken by Jordan Phillips is no good. And the first quarter will come to an end with the Midland High Chemics on top by seven over the Dow High Chargers. A great start for Midland High right off the get-go. Midland High scoring very quickly. And uh, this gives us a chance to talk a little bit about yes, uh, does. Jaden Klobis <laughs> in his first year as Midland High coach. He was at Bay City All Saints prior to coming to Midland. Nine years as a varsity coach, two years as a boys coach. He also had uh, some coaching experience in the thumb area. Moved back to uh, mid-Michigan about uh, 10 years ago after uh, well, after being uh, uh, in the military, after playing basketball at Iowa, and then uh, kind of resided in Florida and told us that he had no real plans to move back to Michigan. He was a Bay City John Glenn graduate, but things change. Life takes a turn, and here he is. It does, yeah. The, uh, yeah. the tribulation bringing Jaden full circle now to uh, to Midland High if you take a look at Lewis Gardner and the Dow High Chargers. Gardner on the other hand he's been uh, well the last stand of basketball coaching found him out at Bullet Creek but he's coached at the college level he's coached at the high school level so we've got a couple of uh, veteran basketball minds doing battle but the story isn't the coaches Tom it's what's happening on the floor and Midland High off to a terrific start. Yeah, and uh, it looks like Midland High is, is able to create their, their own shots. They just haven't hit a, hit as many right now as they had on the outset, but uh, Dow High's de defense uh, ne needs to be picked up a bit. They just are, are, are not uh, as aggressive as Midland High, and there you go. There's you a nice job of defense by Jenny Grinwith, and now a three-pointer taken by Hannah Smith is off mark. Midland's last few shots have been well off the mark. Part of that could be attributed to the end of the first quarter trying to hurry a, sh a shot, but Midland and, High unable to find that basket. And I thought Hannah's last shot was going to draw rain, I thought. Uh, it was uh, pretty high arcing. There's another turnover. Ball's on the ground. Dow High will come away with that. Grenwith, Grenwith is being extremely tough underneath. She's a yeah. senior. Now Dow High looking to drive in again. Good move there by Murray, but now, she, now Midland High wanted a travel call, did not get it. Molly Davis, and now we're going to have a carry. A, that might have made up for what might have been a travel earlier in that uh, series. Well, and Molly had a few instances her junior or her sophomore year where she would get her hand a little too far underneath. and. Uh, uh, but, uh, you know, she's a great player. Uh, Midland High is doing a good job defensively. Smith will go to the, uh, excuse me, Grenwith will go to the free throw line. Jenny Grenwith is one of the uh, seniors on this Midland High team. And uh, she's tough. A couple of weeks ago in a game against Sault Ste. Marie, Grenwith ended up having uh, some of her front teeth broke. <laughs> She did not leave the, well, she left the game temporarily, but she was back in after halftime. You don't need teeth to play basketball. She's, she's a tough gal. Yeah, she uh, she said, well, if, if it doesn't hurt anymore, I'll put her in. So, uh, yeah, the, the parents were all for it, and uh, she had a marvelous game. She is wearing a mouthpiece tonight, however. I, I think that's a good idea. I think there may have been a few dollars put into the uh, front of her, her, uh, her jaw. Another carry called on the Dow High Chargers back-to-back -back turnovers by Dow High. 
6.39 to play here in the second quarter. Seven-point lead. And now Dow High is going to bring Emma Meitler into the game, a junior for the Dow High Chargers. Again, there's not a whole lot of seniors. Dow High's got one senior on their team, and that is McCaffrey. Everybody else is underclassmen. Midland High's Jordan Phillips working the ball around over to Anna Tuck. And Tuck stepped out of bounds. No, do we have a foul? We have a foul. Foul called against the uh, Chargers. Jenna Summers, who checked in during the end of the quarter break. Summers committing that foul for Dow High. Maddie Berry can't get the shot to go, but the rebound pulled down by Midland. Berry working it over to Phillips. Phillips, three-pointer, count it. The sophomore with her first basket of the game, Jordan Phillips, letting the three-pointer fly, and it's a double-digit lead for the Midland High Chemics, who on a two-game winning streak, looking to make it three in a row here tonight. Chargers, Davis driving in. Davis will get the bucket and the foul. Now for the Dow High Chargers, you've been unable to get very many points. You've had a couple of turnovers. Somebody's got to put the Chargers on their back. I think Davis has the ability to do that. Yeah, you know, it's a two-edged sword because if she starts doing that, her teammates start to stand around. And But, uh, you know, you do have to get your points somewhere. And uh, But Mo Molly's, you know, when you're averaging 20 points a game, uh, you, you've got to step up and be the leader uh, in the scorebook, but uh, you got to make sure you, you involve your, your teammates, too. So Right now, Davis has got five of Dow High's six points. Tuck works it inside. Jordan Phillips, three-pointer, no good. Rebound pulled down by Kepner. Chargers on the transition. Good pass ahead to McCaffrey, but Midland back quickly on defense, coming up with a block. And now we've got a foul called. The question is, offensive or defensive? I believe they're going to get Midland High's Hannah Smith for an offensive foul. It was a nice block by Phillips, though. I thought that, uh, you know, she, she's a point guard type player, and uh, you don't get a lot of block shots at that position, but uh, did, did a nice job there. Each team with four team fouls. Nobody in foul trouble. Just over five minutes to go, and there's another turnover as the pass inside goes into the hands of Midland High. Well, you might be seeing the uh, the effects of Dow not playing as tough opponents so far this season or as, as Midland games. High has. Or as many games, too. You're right there. Midland High driving in, and no whistle, no foul. The shot is no good. Rebound by Kepner. Kepner's had a couple of back-to-back -back rebounds for the Dow High Chargers. Now Meitler will work the ball around. McCaffrey, long two-pointer from the baseline. Glenn McCaffrey with her first basket of the game. The lone senior for Dow High. 13 to 8, Midland High with the lead. Four and a half minutes to go. We're in the second quarter. Barry going into the paint. Nice spin move. Can't get the bucket to go. Rebound again pulled down by the Chargers. McCaffrey this time with the board for Dow High. Davis, nice move. Get, getting the bucket to fall through. Davis has got seven and a couple of nice moves when she drives into the paint. Yeah, she, she's got that, that short little running shot that uh, has got a nice touch. Midland High had a 10-point lead. It's down to three. Driving in a block underneath by the Dow High Chargers. Kepner coming up with the block. She has played well off of the bench for the Chargers. I don't think you're going to see a lot of points for, from Kepner, but you're going to see everything else. This is something that Jaden Clovis was concerned about. There's been times early in this season that Midland High has had big leads, and they've been unable to hold on to it. And there's a on-fourth turnover. As a couple of subs come back into the game for the Chargers, but something that has happened in a uh, loss earlier in the season to Bay City Western and a loss to Freeland, Midland High had leads, sometimes double-digit leads, and then they watched them go by the wayside. Yeah, but you know, you you, you, you got to get your bench involved because you're going to be in the foul trouble. Nice move by Barry, getting the bucket to fall through. 
Maddie Berry has got five points in the game for Midland High. The Kimmicks leading by five. Just over three minutes to go in the second quarter. Back into the game for Dow High of Jada Gardner. Gardner goes into the paint, now feeds it back out to Emma Meitler. Meitler with a three-pointer from the baseline. The junior Meitler coming up with the shot. It's a two-point game. It doesn't feel that close, but uh, Midland High just hasn't been able to hit their shots and uh, they're only getting one on a trip so and the Chargers have improved their rebounding but they have not improved in the turnovers that is at least four on fourth turnovers by Dow High in the second quarter yeah yeah and th th and that that's the problem with having inexperienced players and they just haven't played together at this pace uh, long enough yet learning experience for them that was a Many underclassmen on the floor for both of these teams every game, especially early in the season. We're only three to five games into the year. Every uh, every game is a learning experience. Every trip down the floor is a learning experience. Exactly, and you got to remember that Dow High is without their number one point guard. And Macy Taylor out with a knee injury. Nice job there by Midland getting out of the uh, Dow High trap. They'll set it back up to the Kimmicks. Maddie, or that, excuse me, that is Hannah Smith, but she can't get the shot to go. And again, the rebound pulled down by Kepner, who has at least three or four rebounds since coming into the game for the Dow High Chargers. And that's what she brings to the game. Garner into the paint, can't get the roll to go. The size there by Midland High allows them to get the rebound that time. That was a nice rebound by Hannah Smith. She was falling and then tipped the ball back to her teammate. Anna Tuck will work it over to Maddie Berry. Now across to Jenny Grinwis. Grinwis will work it up to Hannah Smith. Now goes back out and Anna Tuck, three-pointer is no good. Rebound, guess who? Alyssa Kepner. <laughs> Just over a minute to go here in the second quarter. Midland High has led the entire half. They've got a two-point lead right now. Molly Davis, three-pointer. Shot is short. Rebound pulled down by Jordan Phillips. 50 seconds to go. We'll see if Midland waits for the final shot or if they decide to drive in. They're going to drive in. Hannah Smith works it out now. Jordan Phillips, three-pointer, count it. Got a nice touch from out there. Phillips with two three-pointers in this quarter. 18 to 13 now in favor of Midland. 30 seconds to go in the half. Garner getting some pressure by Tuck, and Garner able to beat through. And she will go to the free throw line. Couldn't get the bucket to fall, but she will be on the free throw line for the Dow High Chargers. Well, Garner, being a freshman, was being guarded by Tuck, a freshman. And uh, they kind of know each other after playing on the same teams and against each other for a number of years. Garner unable to get the free throw to go. The foul, by the way, on Anna Tuck, which is her second, and Midland will make their first substitution of the game. Ashley Hills will come in for Midland. She's a junior. Garner's second shot is good, and she will head to the bench as Caitlin Murray comes back in for the Dow High Chargers. 26 seconds to play here in the second quarter. Midland High with a four-point lead. They're going to play for the final shot of the half. Maddie Berry working the ball for Midland. Goes over to Ashley Hills. Three-pointer. Comes in off the bench. Had a nice-looking shot. It didn't fall through. Five seconds on the clock. They give it back to the top of the key to Hills. Hills with a spin. Chargers nearly came up with a steal. Good defense by Davis. And the half will come to an end with the Midland High Kimmicks on top of the Dow High Chargers, 18 to 14. Your first half thoughts. Well, I thought that uh, Midland High had a lot of opportunities to uh, really pull this game really to a widespread margin. Didn't happen. I mean, they, they shot real well to begin with, and then their outside shots faded. Got a little bit at the end to, to string it out to four, and Dow High's just hanging around. You know, they're, they're not playing great, but they're hanging around. 
Uh, there you see the board leading scorer so far uh, up there happens to be Molly Davis with seven points for the Dow High Chargers. But Millen High's Jordan Phillips playing very well. A couple of three-pointers. She's got six points here in the first half. We are at halftime. We're off and running. High school basketball on MPS TV. We're glad you are with us. The coach is making halftime adjustments. We will, too, at the half. It is Midland High 18, Dow High 14. You're watching high school basketball on MPS TV. basketball court as we prepare for quarter number three of high school basketball on MPS TV. Jason Harper alongside Tom Bell and a great uh, crew of MCTV staff and volunteers all on hand. The Midland High Chemics with a four-point lead at halftime, 18 to 14. And obviously, Tom, you know that halftime adjustments uh, being made by both teams. Let's start with Midland High. You, you got out to a very quick lead. There were times you had a double-digit lead, then it faltered down to two. Now it's back up to four. If you're Jaden Klobis in the Midland High Chemex, what was your locker room talk like? Well, I, I think that uh, Midland is, is selling out to the real quick shot. I think they do have to be a little more deliberate uh, to pass the ball around. Uh, I think Midland High has been passing it to each other better than Dow. Dow's had a lot of uh, passes stolen, deflected. But, uh, yeah, I, I think that Midland's selling out to the, the early shot that uh, if they wait, I think they'll get a higher percentage shot. If you're the Dow High Chargers and Lewis Gardner, who is filling in for Kyle Tyson tonight for the Dow High Chargers, if you're Lewis Gardner, what do you have to do for the Dow High Chargers? you got to have somebody to, uh, to step up offensively other than Molly Davis. That uh, they want to run a patterned offense to get everybody involved, but they're just getting points when Molly's got the ball in her hand. Which right. isn't a huge surprise, but uh, she's a very talented girl, but got to get everybody involved. Jada Gardner with a long two-pointer. Her foot was on the line, but that may have been the uh, the first, actually that's the second basket. She had a free throw earlier in the, in the game, but that's her first uh, shot from the floor by Jada Gardner. Maddie Berry underneath, can't get the shot to go. We're going to have a rebounding foul that's going to go against the Dow High Chargers. Cherise Query, the junior, called with the foul. That's her first. Nobody really in foul trouble. There's a quick shot by Anna Tuck. It's no good. Rebound by Craig McCaffrey. And the Dow High Chargers coming back with Caitlin Murray working inside. Nice job underneath. And then a nice job defensively by Hannah Smith. The steal looking to go coast to coast. Molly Davis back on defense. And Davis committing the foul. Good move by Hannah Smith. And then a good move by Davis at that point. You're not in foul trouble. Commit the foul. Save the layup. Right. And, uh, you know, they they were each sizing each other up as far as, okay, are you going to stop and just put up this short little jumper? Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I think it was a good foul. Hannah Smith on the free throw line. One of three, well, excuse me, one of four seniors on this Midland High team. Dow High only has one senior, and Hannah Smith able to get both free throws to go. Smith has got seven points in the game. Midland High leading 20 to 16 early on here in the third quarter. This is a non-conference matchup in the Saginaw Valley. They'll meet in February at Dow High. That will be the conference game. Dow High, Quinn McCaffrey with the ball for the Chargers. The districts, if you want to look ahead to uh, the end of February, early March, districts will be here at Midland High. The bucket and the foul for Molly Davis. The junior 
for the Dow High Chargers, the leading scorer for the Dow High Chargers, and Davis has a chance to get into a double digits on the free throw line. You know, that was amazing. I, I looked at that and said, she has no shot opportunity, but a little head fake and a little scoop underneath and hits the free throw. Uh, she's got three points where there really wasn't much. And it's a one point game just like that. Midland High 20, Dow High 19, six minutes to go in the third quarter. Midland High's Hannah Smith working the ball back to Maddie Berry. Three pointer, shot is short, rebound. Grinnis will have it briefly and she will fight through the struggle of Query to come up with that rebound. Now Maddie Berry charging in in the basket by Berry. She now has seven points for the Midland High Chemex. There's a great shot of Matt Richardson and the great MCTV crew on hand here at Midland High. MCTV basketball on MPS TV. We have to have good guys there. It, it makes us look better. And there's not much that can make us look good. I know, I know. They're, but they do a good attempt, I think. We're going to have a foul called. That's, that's going to be a moving screen. Going to call, I believe, uh, Query back with that foul. Lewis Gardner thought there should have been a something against Midland High earlier. Did not get that call, and then Query picks up her second foul. Addie Berry working the ball for the Midland High Kimmick. One of a couple of Midland High players that will continue to play ball at the college level. And Barry with a nice drive, getting the bucket to fall through. Barry's got nine points for the Kimmick. Midland High 24, Dow High 19, 4.45 to go here in the third quarter. Well, Midland High has taken advantage of the fact that Barry can shoot from the outside, post up on the inside. Molly Davis thought about the three, then decides against it. Davis. Taking a couple of dribbles, now picked it up. She's got, somebody has to bail her out and eventually Query does. Now Query drives in, she's double teamed. Works it back out to Meitler. That shot, or excuse me, to uh, McCaffrey, but that shot was off the mark and Midland High will come back the other direction. Midland High's defense making things difficult for the Chargers here tonight. Three-pointer, Jordan Phillips, no good. Rebound. It's going to go to Dow High. Smallest girl on the floor gets the rebound. <laughs> well, if it drops to the floor, she's closest. Huh? Dow High driving in as Murray can't get the shot to go. Battle for the rebound, and we're going to have a jump ball call. The fashion arrow will be in favor of the Chargers. Well, you look at Dow High and you imagine what they'll be like with a dominant center and a point guard. They're going to be outstanding. Good uh, shot from the back. elbow. Quinn McCaffrey, the senior, getting the bucket to a fall through three point game. Dow High, as we've mentioned, playing without Maisie Taylor. She's recovering from surgery. She's expected back in January or early February. And Haley Jester transferred from Bullet Creek. She will be eligible in the second semester to join this Dow High team. And Chargers, they're good now. They will be even better come playoff time. The one thing that has been the Achilles heel tonight, however, for the Chargers, lots of turnovers. Yeah, their passing has not been very sharp. Jordan Phillips has been sharp from the three-point range, the third three-pointer of the game for Jordan Phillips. Nice soft touch. She's just a sophomore. Davis will set things up for the Chargers. Davis driving in. I like it when she drives. She's got a nice read and she was able to pull the defense up. That opens up the lane. Molly Davis has got 12 points. She's the overall leading scorer in this game. And Gardner nearly forced a steal, but Midland High able to recover. Barry from the baseline, count it. 
Maddie Berry with the bucket. She's in double digits. 11 on the night for Berry. Six-point Midland High lead. Just over two minutes to go here in the third quarter. I'm getting the feel that uh, offensively they're starting to loosen up a bit. They're getting some girls with some confidence. I love the fact that we're nearing the end of the third quarter. Nobody's called a timeout yet. Midland High. They Maddie. haven't, have they? No. Barry looking ahead underneath to Smith. Smith turns, can't get the shot to go. Gardner will get the rebound for the Chargers. Gardner pulling ahead to McCaffrey. McCaffrey across to Davis. Chargers will look to set things up. Ninety seconds to go here in the third quarter. Jada Gardner with a bounce pass over to Query. And now we've got a loose ball that Maddie Berry will pick up for Midland High. Berry drives in and gets the layup to fall through. And now a timeout called by Jaden Klobis after the Midland High steal and the Midland High bucket. And with 1.14 to go in the third quarter, Midland High with a 31-23 lead. I have no idea what what went on with uh, Jaden and uh, who was the girl she ran into uh, at, on the arc, but uh, they were not together on what was going on. And then Barry uh, got the steal and great body control to put the ball up and in. First-year coach Jaden Klobis talking things over with the Midland High Chemics. There's some Charger fans that have made the trip cross town here to Midland High. If you're just tuning in towards the end of the third quarter, this game will be shown on Channel 189 on Charter Communications and also on AT&T U-verse the following time, Thursday, December 21st, 10 o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock at night, Friday, December 22nd, 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. as well. And then all during the holiday season, you will have a chance to check out this broadcast here on MCTV and MP. TV. It will also be available on the Midland Public School YouTube channel in high definition probably after the uh, the start of the new year for the uh, the YouTube version of this broadcast. But many times on MCTV and MPS over the holidays, chance to uh, catch the action of the Kimmicks and the Chargers. Also a chance to catch the boys game between Midland High and Dow High as well. And some of those holidays might include the 4th of July, too, you know. <laughs> they, they replay it a few times. They do. They do. It's, uh, you know, th this is good, good, honest basketball. Nice move by the Dow High Chargers. On the far side, Emma Meitler, the junior, comes into the uh, game for the Dow High Chargers and works well to get the bucket to fall through. 40 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Midland High may be playing for the uh, final shot. Maddie Berry with the dribble for Midland High. Gardner nearly came up with a steal. Midland High maintaining possession. Clock down to 20 seconds. Jordan Phillips with the ball. Chargers have brought up their defensive pressure around the perimeter, not allowing Midland a, a look from three-point territory. Ten seconds to go. Maddie Berry will drive the baseline and get the bucket to go. Good defense by Dow. Better patience yeah. by Midland. Berry with the shot. And the third quarter will come to an end. Midland High leading Dow High 33-25. to You know, I, earlier in the game, I thought that Barry, a lot of her shots, she was going up and fading to the right. Uh, some of her shots that she made at the end of that quarter, she was really going somewhat st straight up. I mean, it just seemed to be a little more under control. So uh, made quite a difference. Uh, we've got an eight-point lead uh, right now going to the fourth. High school basketball on MPS TV. This game produced by staff and volunteers. If you'd like to become an MCTV volunteer, you can do so by calling the MCTV studio at 837-3474. You can also go online to the City of Midland website or check us out on Facebook and get involved with MCTV. That could be you right there. You could be uh, running around courtside with a camera in your hand for uh, MCTV. We've got uh, great sports production. We've got 
great, uh, you know, symphonies and other big events. And of course, uh, sometime in 2018, we'll start doing talk shows again. Oh, the, the MCTV talk shows. studio will open sometime in, in 2018. So, lots of chances to uh, to get involved. Again, 837-3474, the number to call. So, uh, have they gotten the water out yet from the flood this summer? Yeah, they're working on it. Okay. Long process. Uh, Heavy damage. Jenny Grinwith with the ball for the Midland High Chemics. Maddie Berry and a great job there by Molly Davis forcing the, uh, the jump ball. Davis read that well and was right there in the backfield to uh, intercept the handoff. Yeah, it got a little crowded there, and uh, M Molly was uh, smart enough to, to grab for the ball because I, I don't think, you know, the offense needs to spread out a little bit more. Our, they were just too bunched up, and uh, M Molly's a heady player. She took advantage. Midland has had the lead the entire game, but the Chargers have been bouncing you know, right around. They came within one. The closest Dow High and well, that's about as close as he can be without tying the game. Yeah, one is about as close as they'll allow, I think, yes. I paid attention in your math class. Yeah. <laughs> Midland High's biggest lead was 10. That was back in the second quarter. Dow High, there's a three-point shot by Davis. In and out, no good. Midland High will have the rebound. They will slow the tempo down a little bit. Anna Tuck with the ball for the Kimmicks, working over to Jordan Phillips. Now back to Maddie Berry. Top of the key, Hannah Smith with the ball. Back to Berry. From the elbow, count the bucket. Midland High running their offense the way they want to that time around. Maddie Berry's got 17 points for Midland High. Yeah, their they're drive and kick offense is really uh, getting them some better shots this half. Back to their biggest lead, 10-point advantage for the Kimmicks. Just over six minutes to go in the contest. Gardner had a nice lead. I don't know why she didn't go up with the shot. That's where the, uh, the inexperience may have came, come into play. Jada Gardner had an open lane, but instead she hesitated, called for a travel, and now Lewis Gardner will call the uh, timeout for the Dow High Chargers. Lewis coaching for the Chargers tonight because Kyle Tyson, the head coach of the Dow High girls program, had uh, surgery earlier today, had gallbladder surgery. So we wish Kyle Tyson the uh, best. In fact, uh, Kyle Tyson and Jaden Clovis have known each other for quite some time. So their, uh, their, their first head-to-head -head matchup is going to be delayed until February. By the way, speaking of well wishes, we all also want to send our best to uh, MCTV staff member Billy. He uh, had surgery today as well. So uh, a couple of people getting some uh, holiday surgeries done. So we wish them all the best. Well, I think they're getting it before uh, the uh, New Year's when uh, insurance uh, kind of <laughs> kicks over again. So there's an advantage there financially, I guess. But uh, yeah, the the difference right now has been M Matty Berry that uh, uh, Midland High has continued to keep an eye on, on M Molly Davis. And really, uh, Dow High's had a number of uh, people that they've had to watch very closely on Midland High's team. Uh, Hannah Smith has played well, uh, but M Maddie has really gotten comfortable on the offensive side. And if Dow doesn't uh, put a little more emphasis on trying to corral her, this game is going to be over very soon. Uh, this is a uh, key point of the game with six minutes to go. This is uh, a part where Dow High needs to step up or Midland High will pull away. One of the two things will happen. And now we've got a, a late whistle. Anna Smith will go to the free throw line. The question is, who got called with the foul? It appears as if it's going to be uh, Caitlin Murray, which is the third one that is called on Murray. Late whistle. On the free throw line, Hannah Smith able to get the, the free throw to fall. Good free throw shooter. Uh, very solid. Rarely hits the rim. Well, one of, okay. uh, one of two <laughs> from, from the free throw line. Okay. 
Hannah averages eight points a game. That's where she's at right now. Yeah. 11 point lead for the Kimmicks. Dow High looking to uh, chop away. And Barry has got a real close eye on Molly Davis. Gardner goes into the paint this time. She doesn't hesitate to make the shot. And Jada Gardner getting the bucket. Five on the night for Gardner. 36-27, Midland High with the lead. Smith goes into the paint for the Kimmick. Shot is no good. Rebound goes to Dow High. Meitler will get the rebound for the Chargers. And now Meitler will pull it back. Go to Gardner. Three-pointer. No good. Rebound. Put back is no good. Kepner right in the right position. She's the leading rebounder in the contest. But the putback was unsuccessful. Well, the pace of the game's picking up with Dow's full court press. And a tuck feeds it out and thought about the uh, thought about the shot. Now they go inside to Barry. Feed away the bucket and the foul. Advantage of being left-handed. That uh, really uh, she she used that to her, her advantage on that. Averaged 14 points a game. Last year, Maddie Berry's got 12 points in the contest tonight. She can play inside, she can play outside, and she's one of the leaders for the Midland High Kimmicks. And it seems to me she's had a game of 28 already this year. I, I may have been Sault Ste. Marie. I, I, I may be wrong on that, but uh, she's had 28 this year in a game. Free throw falls through, and now the officials are going to stop play. 4.50 to go. The Midland High Kimmicks leading by 12. The Kimmicks scored the first basket of the game off of the tip off, and Midland High has not looked back here tonight. Looking for their third win in a row after dropping their first three games in a very tough early season schedule for the Midland High Kimmicks. Yeah, they, their first three opponents were really, really tough. Now high, they're 3-0 coming into this contest. Their season has not been as tough schedule-wise, and now the Dow High Chargers, Molly Davis. After the steal, Davis with the bucket. Lewis Gardner will call the timeout for the Chargers. Back to a 10-point game, and if anything, watching uh, all the years of watching uh, Lewis coach basketball, going back to when he was an assistant coach at Northwood, going back to uh, to the, uh, the the days at Bullet Creek, uh, you know, if there's one thing, you can never count out Lewis Gardner. Well, and and he he knows when when the game is really on the line, and he's got to change the tempo of the game. He's got to get Midland so they're not so comfortable in what. what they have done to get the lead. Full court press has helped that, but just picking up the pace has uh, got to stir it up to try to gain back a, a few more points. But Matt, Maddie Berry is playing a great fourth quarter. She's headed to Grand Valley next year. Hannah Smith is headed to Hope College. 4.15 to go here in this contest. Midland High leading by 10 underneath, and the Kimmicks will go to the free throw line. Anna Smith will take a trip to the strike. The game reset 4-11 on the clock. That is the sixth team foul against the Chargers. So Midland High from here on out will be going to the free throw line. The Kimmicks have only committed one foul here in the second half. Timeout situation. Dow High has got three. Midland High has four timeouts. So plenty of timeouts left for the, uh, the final four minutes. But the fact that Midland High is now in the bonus Plus the fact that they now have a 11 point lead may make things very difficult for the Chargers for the next four minutes. And uh, they've taken Molly Davis out right now. Maybe to give her a breather uh, for the one last run uh, at the end of the game. Yeah, she's headed back to the, uh, the score table right now. So she only had a chance to catch her breath. And how about a steal underneath Maddie Berry coming up with the steal for Midland. Berry. Goes into the paint, nice pass, feeds it through, and a foul will send Hannah Smith to the free throw line. Have we seen this before? <laughs> Alyssa Kepner commits the foul, loses the contact. Luckily, it landed on her finger, so she's going to be yes. able to uh, to get that back in without a problem. 
I just couldn't do contacts. No, I, I think it would just b bother me having something in my eye. I guess they get used to it. But So, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, here's Hannah Smith at the line. Hannah Smith getting the free throw to fall. Holly Davis will come back in. Therese Query also into the game for the Dow High Chargers. I do apologize if uh, we're mispronouncing Query's name. We forgot to ask uh, Coach Garter beforehand. And so I'm, I'm not 100% I'm pronouncing it right. So if I'm wrong, I, I apologize to the uh, Query family. And we will have it right the next time they play. I've been wrong a time or two. But nobody ever mentions it. <laughs> <laughs> 11 points now for Smith after that trip to the free throw line. Gardner feeds in and she'll go to the free throw line. Jada Gardner, remember she is only a freshman. In a few more years, we're going to be talking about her and, I, you know, she's only going to get better adjusting to play in the Saginaw Valley. Yeah, she, uh, be, being a, a freshman, I, I'm reminded of, of her brother that uh, played uh, varsity for Dow, Malik, and uh, uh, just needed to, to put on a few good pounds, you know, of strength, and th that'll happen as she matures. Second shot by Gardner is good. Six points for her. 12 point Midland High lead, three and a half minutes to go. And how about this? Anna Tuck with a nice read and follows it up. Anna Smith cannot get the bucket to go, but she will go to the free throw line for Midland High. You know, I watched Anna Tuck come down the court and I saw her uniform being pulled three or four different times. I thought, wow, uh, the refs have got to really watch that. Uh, but I'm sure Midland High's doing it too, but uh, on that just one drive, I saw people grabbing at her uniform from behind just to slow her down. Holding before the pass, that's only five yards. Still an automatic first down. Ooh, you pulled out the football referee card, huh? <laughs> Molly Davis with the ball for the Chargers going inside and feeding it back out. That shot bounces in. They're going to count it. Quinn McCaffrey, I thought maybe it hit the top of the uh, basket, but apparently it did not. So McCaffrey gets a friendly bounce. Don't count the Chargers out yet. They're looking to make a comeback. They need to stop well, here. You can tell the intensity defensively is really ramped up. Maddie Berry doesn't get the shot to go. Rebound, put back by Anna Tuck, and Tuck will go to the free throw line. Talking earlier about uh, Garner, and in a few years how well she's going to be, Anna Tuck falls into that same category. Yeah, she's grown a lot recently. Uh, I coached her in seventh grade. She was about 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five, and then I saw her uh, earlier this summer, and uh, I didn't know who she was <laughs> at first. And then she started to talk to me. We were at the community center here in town, and I knew I immediately when she started to talk, I knew exactly who she was. As she's listed at 5'11". Yeah. Lewis Gardner is going to call a 30-second timeout for the Chargers. 43 to 32 as we take a look inside the Dow High huddle. High School Basketball Lod, MPS TV. Glad that you could be with us. And of course, we would like to thank the Midland High School Athletic Department, Eric Albright, the AD, uh, for uh, rolling out the uh, red carpet for us here tonight. And speaking of rolling the, the maps up, so to say, the actual uh, team ending practice on time so that uh, we could get uh, the bleachers open and set up. So we appreciate that as well. Well, Dow High is going to be a totally different looking team in about a month. Uh, you're going to see that they've got more depth. They'll, ha they'll feature a 6-1 center, and they'll have Maisie Taylor, their point guard, uh, at that spot, and that can put uh, Molly Davis at a wing. Davis drives in, counts the bucket. Molly Davis, 16 points in the game for the Dow High Chargers. 
And the Dow High Chargers have cut the deficit down to single digits. 2.20 to go and out of bounds was Midland High. The official making the ruling and Hannah Smith is trying to plead the case for Maddie Berry. That is what a leader does. That is a great job there by Hannah Smith talking to the official, getting an explanation on the call. And that, that's, a good, that's good leadership right there. Gardner can't get the layup to go. Smith will pull down the rebound for the Midland High Kimmich. Smith with the ball back. Working the baseline and a foul will be called. Query will pick up the foul that will send Midland High to the free throw line. That is the 10th team foul, but that is the fourth foul on Query who becomes the, uh, the first player to be in foul trouble. I have to say, Hannah got bailed out on that. She, her drive was way too deep, and she was well underneath the basket. Didn't have much of an angle at all, but uh, that's what good players do. They, uh, they get to a spot, and they look for the best, best end result, and getting fouled was that. One of two from the free throw line is Smith, 13 points. In the game, back to a 10-point Midland High lead, just under two minutes to go in the contest. Molly Davis working it out to uh, McCaffrey. McCaffrey feeds it at Garner, goes back to Davis. Davis takes a couple of dribbles for Dow High, looking to penetrate. Now we'll go back out. Davis with a three-pointer, count it. And Lewis Gardner is going to call a timeout. Davis has got 19. 44 to 37 with 137 to go here in the, the fourth quarter. Dow High trying to make things interesting. Midland High trying to hold on. And, uh, and Tom, this is a uh, you know, situation that we talked about earlier. Midland High has sometimes let leads get away. I don't know that Dow High has enough time here, but you never know what can happen in the game of high school basketball. Yeah, well, and Dow High really hasn't established that second scorer, though the one one player that uh, is going to give them uh, that that extra option. Uh, this is what this is what basketball is all about, Tom. If we welcome you inside the booth, that's Tom Bell. I'm Jason Harper. You know, the final minute 37 of this contest, 44 to 37. Midland High has the lead, and you know, this is where having three seniors for the Midland High Kimmich may play a big advantage. It does. And uh, the last time down, you saw the three seniors really trying to corral Molly Davis uh, when she was driving, trying to drive to the basket, and then she hits a really, really tough shot from deep in the corner because she had no lane to the basket. Well, here we go. Things are about to get interesting. The Chargers have two timeouts remaining. Midland High is in the double bonus. Now High had a little bit of a press, but Midland no trouble breaking it, and Maddie Berry looking to go coast to coast, tried to draw the foul, didn't get it. Gardner will come up with the rebound for the Chargers. Gardner across midcourt, feeds it down out of the baseline. The shot there by McCaffrey is no good. Kimmich will have the rebound. At this point, Dow High, if they foul, it will be two shots from here on out. But right now, it would be a great time for a timeout. And Dow High does commit the foul to stop the clock with 109. In the game, Maddie Berry will go to the free throw line. That foul on Molly Davis is the third foul on Davis. That's not bad. Uh, she gets her uh, fourth foul. It's going to limit her, but uh, no, I think that uh, Midland High needs to uh, uh, milk the clock, you know, at that point. Eddie Berry getting the free throws to fall, 22 points. She's the overall leading scorer tonight is Maddie Berry, and we've got to stop a play because there is uh, an object of some kind. A rubber ball. On the, yeah. I don't know where that came from. Uh, may have come from across the way. I don't know. I have no idea. That Maybe that is, uh, that could be Jaden Klobis' stress relief right there. <laughs> I'm looking for an embarrassed parent right now. I don't know. A minute to go in the contest. Molly Davis feeding it to McCaffrey. 
McCaffrey goes back to Davis. 50 seconds on the clock. Davis taking a couple of dribbles into the paint. Davis doesn't get the foul, nor does she get the basket. And the rebound pulled down, and now the Chargers have to foul immediately. Molly Davis will pick up her fourth foul, and Maddie Berry will go back to the free throw line for Midwood. Well, the game has kind of evolved in a, uh, a kind of a recognizable script that you've got uh, three seniors uh, being able to kind of keep things at bay against a Dow team that's playing shorthanded. You know, that they, uh, they, they played hard, but uh, they, they're kind of waiting to become whole again uh, in January. Barry hits one of two, and Clovis will call a timeout for the Midland High Kimmich with 41 seconds to play. It is back to a 10-point lead for Midland High. The Kimmichs have led the entire game here against the Dow High Chargers. High school basketball on MPS TV. Of course, earlier this month, we had a, a great hockey contest. We've got boys basketball coming up on MPS TV. And then come 2018, we've got high school wrestling in January. And then more hockey and more basketball, including our winter. So a lot of chances to uh, check out the Chemex and the Chargers here on MPS TV as uh, you take a look at the, the Dow High cheerleaders. That's getting pretty high. And there's some of our uh, MCTV and staff and volunteers working the camera. Three cameras and about a half a dozen or so volunteers bringing you this contest. Well, Dow has got to uh, continue to uh, pick up the tempo. Uh, they're going to have to look to uh, hit some, some three-pointers. And Midland High is going to pretty much guard the, uh, the, the, the three-point arc as much as they can. They can get away with a drive here or there. But now, the drive was nice, but Gardner could not get the bucket to fall through. And now with 30 seconds to go. And Molly can't foul. That's the problem here. I think Midland High is clock. about to celebrate three wins in a row. In about 20 seconds, Davis does commit a foul. That's going to be the fifth foul on Molly Davis, who will leave the game with 19 points. Davis will get more comfortable once Taylor comes back in. Once Chester is eligible, I think we're going to see a, a, a completely different Dow High team. I think we're going to see a more relaxed Molly Davis, which would equal a more dangerous Molly Davis. Yeah, I, I think that uh, with M Maisie, that's a known quantity. With Haley Jaster, you know, she played a Bullet Creek uh, some last year, uh, was injured. I, I'm not familiar with what the injury was. But uh, she has, has yet to play uh, at, at a Class A level, but uh, uh, she's going to give them a post presence at what six a, foot one. What a game Maddie Berry has had. She heads to the bench 25 points in the game for Maddie Berry, the best game this season for Berry. And the final seconds are going to wind down here. Ashley Hills checked into the game for the Midland High Chemex. Ten seconds to go. Shot taken by Murray is no good. Midland High with the rebound. They're just going to have to run out the clock. And the Midland High Chemex leading from the opening tip to the final buzzer. And the Midland High Chemex improving to three and three on the season. They are 500. They've got three wins in a row. And first-year coach Jaden Klobis has his first crosstown victory over the Dow High Chargers here tonight. Yeah, I, I bet he, he's just thrilled. Uh, but uh, he's realistic. He knows his team didn't play very well in the middle of the game. They uh, jumped out of the shoot 7-0 uh, and then played really well in the fourth quarter. But, uh, you know, they're a young team. They've got to play all the way through better. 
of the Midland High Gimmick celebrating with the Gimmick fight song here in their home gym. The Midland High Gimmick coming away. Matty Berry leading the way, 25 points for Midland High. Jordan Phillips played well. She had nine points all from the three-point line. And that's the Midland High Gimmick. The beginning of the game, the end of the game, very good for the blue and gold. We thank you for joining us here on MPF TV. The Midland High Gimmick celebrating a girls basketball win. Midland High 49, Dow High 37. Thank you for watching high school basketball on MPF TV.